All right, so today I focused on terminal knee extension, just like straightening my leg all the way. There's like this lock home or screw home mechanism, which is kind of rotational. And I was specifically advised to only like move in the sagittal plane with my knee, my torn ACL one, and not to like do any kind of rotating or pivoting. But to get full terminal knee extension, as the femur kind of like rotates outwards, there's li there's some internal rotation between or of the tibia on the femur. Not like anything drastic, but just like a light rotation that really like is necessary for like total knee extension or terminal knee extension. So the the orthopedic surgeon told me specifically that the quad is the gatekeeper to this whole process. He said that the quadricep is always like a problem for everybody before surgery, after surgery. And you know, there's people that will get surgery and go on living their lives, still doing what they want to do, but their quad never really fires quite the same way, which causes all sorts of issues. Like if you don't have complete terminal knee, or well, not even if you don't have terminal knee extension but if both sides aren't the same if you don't have the same amount of straightening ability on both legs then your whole gait pattern is going to be like a little off balance and there's going to be like a there's going to be compensation or like a limp so my left knee the good knee seems to like pretty much extend all the way almost like pretty much no problem but even though, obviously, I need to put more work into the bad knee, the, the injured ACL knee, I still kind of want to do my best for everything I'm training on my bad knee to do the same on my good knee. Because ideally, you know, if they get the same prehab, or, well, rehab for one, prehabilitation for the other, should protect the other one in the future. So, just turned around again to, like, get honestly a little more sunlight and vitamin d but this is a little different because i had to like put my foot on these bars and i lined up my second toe on the bar and like so i couldn't put any force on the sides of my feet or anything else it literally just had to go through that middle toe and then like between the balls of my feet in a way so yeah here i'm trying to like forcefully do the internal rotation of the tibia and push it down like while I'm doing trying to fully extend my knee standing up right after it looks a little wobbly but but really f spending like a whole day focusing on straightening my knee it made it so like I'm damn near can walk like slowly obviously but like walk without like much compensation like as long as I like completely straighten my knee and like get some heel strike feel some solid contact and everything like even feel it engage my glute which I have been having trouble with but when it does I, I'm walking without or with just one crutch and it feels fine and like more and more just putting more and more weight on the on the bad leg but I mean Things are moving right along. I think I'm gonna continue to really perfect the knee extension for a few more days. And I'll probably still do some knee flexion. But I think, I don't know. I've heard some stuff about full knee extension it can improve the knee flexion later on. And I was saying, or what my personal experience was early in the process was like, getting some knee flexion really really helped straighten my leg out like bending my knee for some reason made straightening it feel way better don't know why but you know it maybe was kind of stretching the quad out and letting it reset um so yeah i still feel some dis some what's it called instability but it's getting better and better. It's more, like, I don't even think that the muscles are like too weak to handle themselves. It's more just like a, a brain muscle connection. Like I need my, my brain to completely like communicate with my leg and get it to work right. 
So kind of that's part of the reason why I haven't done, I haven't iced anything except for when I was in the hospital. You know, I did take a cold shower. I'll probably do that some more. But I didn't do ice for the inflammation because I felt like if it numbed the pain, I wouldn't really feel it. And like I kind of I wanted to feel it so I knew where things hurt, but still, there really never was any pain. I was like given a a morphine prescription <laughs> for for this injury. I still haven't filled it. Don't really have any reason to. Uh, but yeah, I'm really trying to feel all the sensations in my leg. So and I think that's really important. I don't want to just completely get rid of any pain or like get rid of everything. I just want um What's the word? What's the word? Yeah, I just need to I need the feedback both ways. Like I need to give give some input to my leg, but I also want to feel it back so I know what to do and what not to do. Because if I just like numbed all my pain with like medication, ice, or compression, then I wouldn't really know if I was hurting myself. I was like shearing away um, articular surfaces or some shit, which I don't, you know, I don't think so. Kind of around my medial meniscus on the injured knee is a little funny. Sometimes I feel like a little grinding or pinch. It's not like a sharp pain, it's just like a weird sensation like. <clears throat> like getting electrocuted lightly, but in a weird kind of way. Um, I'm a little worried about that. Like the ACL seems pretty cool, but the menis, like the surgery for it, she's okay. But meniscus surgery, I feel like would be a lot harder to really come back from. Cause that's like, not only is that like shock absorbing padding, but it's also like a smooth gliding surface. Like it, more than the smooth gliding surface like an extremely slick surface so things are going pretty good i did get a compression sleeve for my knee i'm not wearing it here i'm only i've only worn it a couple times more so after some exercise uh i did use it during exercise but it like it felt too good my knee felt like way too stable and then, like I felt like I could just go walking and I did kind of like in in the house but like again it's the same thing where I was kind of worried like I wouldn't know if I was really hurting myself or causing like some long-term damage because it just felt it just felt like perfectly fine so I probably gonna use it if I have to go anywhere you know where I know I could be on my feet for longer than I want to my feet and crutches both but Terminal knee extension, that is the goal. Very achievable goal, probably the most important thing I can do right now. Moving right along. <laughs>